All right, hi guys. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about etiquette uh, in terms of office etiquette, cath lab etiquette, as well as phone etiquette uh, for Dr. Benzer. Okay, first of all, I want to talk about cath lab etiquette because um, it's very important. Uh, we're basically guests at the hospital when we're in the cath lab. Um, and so it's very important that when we are in the cath lab, you basically act like guests, um, but you also kind of act kind of like almost you're not there in essence. Um, that What that means is you have to be extremely quiet. Basically, you shouldn't be talking when you're in the cath lab. Um, if somebody, you know, asks you a question, you can answer them quietly, uh, but basically you should not be asking questions. It is a learning experience, and you know you want to try to get as much as you can, but keep the questions that you have to yourself and then ask them later once we're done with the cath lab, okay? Um, because when we're in the cath lab, everybody's concentrating, trying to get done what needs to get done for the patient. So again, basically no talking whatsoever. Um, that also means no laughing. If somebody makes a joke, you know, which a nurse can do from time to time, you know, because they like to be jovial, just smile, but don't laugh out loud. No LOLing, okay? Um, so seriously, it, it, you know, it's a good environment to learn, but again, be very quiet, be very respectful. Um, no laughing, no talking unless spoken to, and when you do talk, talk very, very quietly. Okay. Uh, in addition, when you're in the cath lab, you basically want to act as a blob. Um, what that means is everybody is kind of together in one unit. The reason for that is that people are constantly moving about and you do not want to block anybody's way. Again, we are guests in this lab and we want to basically allow the people who are there to do what needs to be done. Um, so act as a one unit and kind of be respectful. Um, other kind of obvious things are, you know, keep the cell phone, keep your cell phones off or don't bring them. Uh, be also very thankful uh, to people. So once the procedure is done, uh, you know, certainly thank the, um, thank the nurses. Um, in addition, when you're in the cath lab itself, even if the procedure is done, you always need to wear a mask and a hairnet. Okay, it doesn't matter if there's a patient in there or not. It could be, you know, everybody's gone. You still have to wear a mask and a hair net when you're in the cath lab. Okay, so those are the basic rules for the cath lab. I also want to talk about some office etiquette. Um, it's pretty straightforward stuff you would expect. You know, obviously be respectful of others, uh, be helpful for others. Um, you know, be organized. So here in Dr. Benzer's office, we use a lot of sticky notes. Uh, you'll see yellow sticky notes all around the place. Um, what that means though is that, you know, clean up after yourself. Don't just, if you use a sticky note and, you know, write down a little note about a patient, clean it up once you're done with it, throw it away so that we don't have 100,000 sticky notes all over the office. Uh, similarly, you know, if you're eating something, uh, throw away wrappers, throw away any garbage, okay? If you see any garbage on the ground or anything like that, you know, be respectful, pick it up, even if it's not yours. Um, in addition, the office is also a very quiet place. Um, you don't want to be yelling or screaming at others from a distance. Uh, certainly, you know, you can talk to other people, you can ask other people questions, but really when you do that, you want to go up to the person and speak to them in a quiet voice. You don't want to be yelling um, very far. The way the, the architecture is of the building, uh, even kind of normal voice levels can carry very far. So just kind of speak very quietly because you don't want patients hearing about other patients, obviously. You don't want patients, you know, hearing jokes or anything like that. So talk very quietly, talk to the person, you know, face to face when you see them. Um, in addition, um, obviously be mature in the office. You don't want to talk behind anybody's back, uh, you know, um, you know, and just basically help other people out, um, you know, be respectful again. As students here, we are kind of 
you know, guests of Dr. Benzer's as well. And so act that way. Um, and in, in addition to that, if you do make a mistake, you know, everybody makes mistakes, just admit to the mistakes that you made. Um, you know, don't try to lie or cover it up. Just note that you made a mistake, say, in a chart or something, and ask for help on how to fix it. Um, or, you know, if you forgot to get uh, an INR check, just, you know, go and ask somebody to get the INR check. It's not a big deal, okay? Then finally is phone etiquette. Um, so here in Dr. Benzer's office, we are going to be answering phones a lot. Um, obviously, you want to be very respectful over the phone, even if the person you're talking to isn't that respectful back to you. Uh, you know, sometimes people might have called a couple times and haven't gotten what they asked for yet. It's a very busy office, particularly when it comes to faxes. Lots of times we get uh, pharmacies and other people asking uh, about, you know, faxes they just sent 10 minutes ago. Obviously, you know, it takes a little bit of time for us to return uh, return calls or return information from faxes. Uh, so just speak politely to them and say, oh, absolutely, we'll get to it and ask about it. Um, also, if a new patient comes in or any patient actually is asking for an appointment, first thing you want to do is always ask about their symptoms that they're having today. Um, are they having any chest pain? Are they having any shortness of breath? Are they sweating a lot? Uh, any dizziness? Basically, patients, you know, oftentimes don't realize that they might be having some serious issues, but we as students should be able to pick that up. And what you want to do is if they are having some serious issues like that, either one, schedule them to come in, you know, today, and we're very flexible here. Patients come in, you know, pretty much whenever they like, so they can come in right away. Or if you think it is truly an emergency where the patient, you know, is having uh, pressure like chest pain, um, you know, that's radiating down their arm, uh, etc. that, you know, signs of an MI, you really want to tell them, okay, call 911 right away, get to an ER. Um, if it's something less serious or more ambiguous, again, they can come into the hospital, come into Dr. Benzer's office, um, and we can take a look at them today. Now, if it's a new patient, um, again, you'll still want to ask them the symptoms. You can schedule them for today. Um, if they're not having any symptoms or no complaints or anything like that and they want to, you know, just have a cardiac exam, that's perfectly fine. We can schedule a new patient um, for the following week or something like that and then transfer to Elizabeth, okay? Um, you'll learn about transferring to Elizabeth. It's pretty straightforward. We transfer new patients to her or insurance information, things like that, that go to her. But the first thing you can certainly do is schedule them to come in, uh, set up a temporary appointment, and then we can always alter that if for some reason they can't pay or things like that. So again, just you know, when you're talking on the phone to somebody, be respectful. You know, try to answer their questions as best you can, uh, even again if they're being rude to you. Just you know, act like the better person. All right, so those are the etiquettes of the cath lab, the office, and phone use. Good luck.